Hey guys, so I wanted to do this review and demo for you guys on the L'Oreal True Match. And this is in Soft Ivory. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I can wear this up to at least four hours or so. And then it starts getting really, really oily on me. And it just starts breaking down really quick. I just, I have to be careful what I use because I have really oily skin. But the awesome thing that I really love about this foundation is that it looks natural on the skin. It just looks so flawless and I love it. It just, it sucks that it doesn't last that long on me. It lasts about four hours, like I said. And then it starts breaking down. And when it breaks down, it looks really bad on me. But those four hours that I do have, it looks amazing. Um, I definitely have to make sure that I set this foundation because if I don't, it would last me like two hours and I would just look like an oil slick on my face. At first, I thought that it wasn't a full coverage, but after I started applying this, this was a full coverage foundation, which I do love. I prefer a full coverage, even though I don't need a full coverage foundation. I am not acne prone. I do not have acne prone skin. I um, only have a little bit of redness right here underneath my eyes, kind of on my cheeks. But it's easy to cover. I normally don't even need a concealer with this foundation that I use here with the L'Oreal. I didn't even need a concealer, but I use it for highlighting. I'm sure girls with the dry skin would absolutely love this foundation. I'm in soft ivory. I mean, pretty much any foundation, I'm in like the lightest shade possible. I always go for like the lightest shade and I just know automatically that's me because I am so pale. It's not even funny. But um, yeah, this is just my review. Uh, I'm going to start... Um, applying the foundation and let me know what you guys think throw your comments down below and let me know what y'all think so I guess I will see you girls later and if you guys want to know what I put on my lips um it is the Revlon it is in cocoa bronze and it looks like this I have a little something on top of it but and that's what I have my lips just in case you girls wanted to see and know what I have I guess I will see you girls later. Bye bye. Hey guys, so how are you doing? Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am going to be doing a a demo review for the L'Oreal True Match. I have been trying out this foundation for at least two weeks now. And beforehand, I just wanted to let you guys know I do use a primer because of my large pores. I did use the Professional. And I did use the Photo Loving Primer from NYX, which I'm trying to use up right now. I'm going to use, put some of this right here on that. And it is very, kind of liquidy. It kind of just goes down pretty quick, so i got to be careful. Um, I'm going to use both of my sponges here. The It Cosmetics, drip it right there. The It Cosmetics. And this also, this is just the, um, something from Walmart. I forgot the Soho, I think, one, which I like. I will do a close up in just a minute. It's like running everywhere down my. So just keep in mind it's really liquidy. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I'll do half of my skin. Hold on, give me one second. This is the one side that is not done. And then this side. Huge difference, right? But to me, it still looks like natural skin which I really like look at the difference yeah that's definitely full coverage which I like but I'm gonna just do the other side real quick and I love using this with a beauty blender also just a wet sponge it makes a huge difference I did use it with a brush. They, it works both ways. I do put it all the way down my neck. Yeah, this is definitely a... F Whoa! That's another thing I don't like about this, that it doesn't have a pump because I pour way too much. Like, I don't need that much for my dad. I'm going to try to grab some. I <laughs> put it back. I don't need that much. That's, only, that's another downfall of this foundation, that it doesn't have a pump. Now, I bought this at uh, Ulta. This was actually, like, seven or eight I think it was like eight bucks for this one so it's, now sometimes if you buy it Ulta I think it could be a little bit more expensive 
um, that if you buy it like Walmart or somewhere, and sometimes if you buy it at the regular drugstore, sometimes you can get like a sale on it. But I think this was like eight bucks, but I think at Walmart it's like six bucks, six or six or seven. So it's not too bad. The price is. is my sobriety. I have a growing... See, and I still have all that left. I'll try to scoop it up and put it back in the jar. <laughs> So I don't want to waste it. And I did have some blemishes on my neck here. And it did a pretty good job covering that up on its own. Like I feel like I didn't even need a concealer even under my eyes. But I only use it. I think I might just use a concealer for just highlighting under my eyes. Anyway girls that is my review on the L'Oreal True Match. I hope you guys liked it. And if you do don't forget to throw your comments down below. And let me know what y'all think of it. You're helping me. Love you.